Now, Lee, that's a shiny ball you've got in your hand here. Now, I know you personally were involved in the development of this, this project. What, what is the part? It, it's a femoral head or a femoral ball. And where's so, that going? But it, it can go to your shoulder or your, or, or, or your hip. So the, the, the ball fits onto a stem and then, then fits it into your body. Okay, now um, there's a few things that jump out at me on this. And the first thing is the incredible finish on it. I mean, that, that's important, I assume, it must be. It's incredibly important. So these components were typically made on a, on a lathe, then, then a grinding machine, and then they would have been hand polished. So the, the, the finish is extremely important and there can be no scratches or, or blemishes on the surface. So how do you do that on a machine like this here from Boot Boomtech? We, we looked at it and we said, we, we think we can do this in a single shot. So from bar, so, so we, 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 we feed bar in, we, 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 we turn the OD and then produce the, um, the, the conical bore, if you like, which we then locate with an expanding mandrel on, on the, 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 second, uh, the second pickup station. We finish the turning part off and then we rotate. We grind on the same machine in the same sequence. And then we actually polish the surface again on the same machine and then pick the component up put it onto a tray system so there's no manual intervention at all. Okay, now the tolerances are uh, really important but in a slightly different area on this, aren't they? But they are, because on, on this, the sphericity is, 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 the, uh, is the really important um, measurement and, and there's a certain way that the industry measures for, for the sphericity of a femoral ball because there's different ways to do it as well. And, and what is that tolerance, call it? It's about two and a half microns on these parts. Wow, okay. Now it's 15 minutes to make one of these from start to finish, isn't it? So if I compare that to how it would have been before, I mean, that's a massive productivity gain. Well, the, 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 the cycle time is better, but the, the gain is through the automation. So from a bar, lights out, you're producing these on, the, on, on a drum beat. So you can run this 24 seven. You can switch between the diameters because these, these, these are a range of diameters up to around 40 millimeters. So there's no change over time, completely automated machining. 